Sci-Fi Geisha Girl. That's the name that my makeup artist gave to her latest beauty creation. I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you how we did this beauty shot. Make sure you watch till the end for a quick Photoshop trick that you'll want to try on your images. Hi, I'm Joe Edelman, and you're watching The Thoughtful Photographer, the web series that teaches you how to think like a professional photographer and pulls back the curtain on the thought process and the psychology of making great photographs. Now, let me start out by saying that this is one of those pictures that an honest photographer will admit most of the credit goes to the makeup artist. I had the easy job. I used a basic two light clamshell setup and a simple white background lit by two additional lights. Throw in two Walmart reflectors and one simple Photoshop trick with just a little bit of advanced retouching skills. And voila, the sci-fi geisha girl. So let's break this shot down. My model Jamie is an up and comer from West Virginia who is making the move to New York later this year. Jamie traveled to my studio in Pennsylvania for a few days to shoot her portfolio. When I'm doing full day shoots for a model's portfolio, I try to finish my day with a fun beauty shot. Now you can't do these at the beginning of the day. There's way too much makeup involved and you'd have to remove it all, clean the model's face, start over and do makeup for headshots or lifestyles, whatever. Natalia, my makeup artist from New York, had this idea for a shot using lots of yellow and pastels, both on the face and around the face. Based on her description, I originally imagined the shot possibly being square and not including any background. Since you never know exactly how things will look when the makeup artist is done, I decided to set up a white background so that all the color would be on my subject. As I saw the makeup coming together, I really liked the use of blue around Jamie's beautiful blue eyes, so I wanted to use a lighting arrangement that would really make the eyes pop. You might notice, I don't do a lot of shots of models looking away from the camera. I'm all about the eyes. Remember, the clamshell lighting arrangement is two lights. One just above the subject and one just below the subject. Generally, when you use this setup, you place the two lights at equal distances from your subject's face, and the subject will look straight through them. Clamshell lighting is very flattering because it fills the wrinkles and creates a soft, even light. For this shot, I decided to have my subject lean forward and tilt her face down towards the bottom softbox. By tilting her head down towards the light, I'm using the bottom softbox to do most of the work and the top one is a fill. If you look at the catch lights in her eyes, you can see the bottom one is brighter than the top one. Because my model is very close to the lights, the brightness falls off quickly, which can make the sides of her face and shoulders darker than the face. That's not necessarily bad, but in this case, I wanted to keep everything evenly lit. So I added two Walmart reflectors, one on each side, to bounce light back into the shoulders and the sides of the model's face. So when it was time to shoot, I had my model lean forward and push her chin out and down. I shot from an angle slightly above her so that she had to look up with her eyes. This gives the effect of making the eyes look bigger. You know, like all the girls doing their Facebook and Instagram selfies with the camera held above their heads. I instructed the model to simply stare at the camera lens and breathe through her mouth to keep the mouth relaxed. I didn't want the lips pressed tight. I shot with a 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 zoom at approximately 120 millimeters. My exposure was 1 200th of a second at f9 with my Nikon D800 set at ISO 100. The strobes were my trusty Alien B800s and the soft boxes were the Photoflex Medium Multidomes. I shot tethered using a Capture One Pro 7 software on a MacBook Pro Retina. I captured approximately 50 frames with slight composition variations but mainly to get just the right version of expression with the eyes and mouth. I also want to point out a few other details. I am, for the most part, a get-it-right-in-the-camera shooter. I like to rely on Photoshop for basic retouching and creativity that I can't do in-camera, but not to fix mistakes or sloppiness after the fact. As we were putting the Sci-Fi Geisha Girl together on the set, we used yellow felt to create the shoulder piece. We quickly realized that it would take hours to make it symmetrical, so I focused on getting one side exactly how I wanted it, knowing that it would be fairly easy for me to flip it in Photoshop to create the symmetry that I wanted in the outfit. A little note for those of you that like to display your work on Facebook, notice how I leave a little white background to the left of the model's shoulder. This allows me to do a content-aware scale in Photoshop and extend the background so the image will fit perfectly 
into a Facebook timeline cover without having to crop off the top or bottom of my subject. So I promised you a little Photoshop wizardry to finish the video. The only work that has been done to this image is the usual exposure and color adjustments, a little sharpening, and removal of a few skin imperfections. I did brighten the eyes a little. The first piece of trickery was to duplicate and flip the model's right shoulder. That's camera left as you watch the video. I promise to do a video in the near future showing the flip technique as well as the techniques that I used for eyes. The last piece of trickery, and the one that I'll show you here, was to add a little dreaminess to the image by selecting the white background areas with the magic wand tool in Photoshop. Then I created an adjustment layer for curves. You can do this with the curves or levels or even brightness and contrast layers. I like to do it with curves because all I do is grab the middle of the curve and drag it all the way to the upper left. Now, after doing that, you'll notice that nothing has changed. So the final step is to go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, set it to 50 pixels, and like magic, you have a glowy, dreamy, sci-fi look. Be sure to follow the link in the info section below to the matching article on my blog that also contains links to all of the products and suppliers that I mentioned in this video. And be assured, I did not receive any money, products, or considerations from the companies that I mentioned. Now that's all for this episode of The Thoughtful Photographer. I'm Joe Edelman, and until next time, keep thinking, keep learning, and keep shooting. And hey, if you like what I'm doing, please give the video a thumbs up and take a second to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss a single episode.